This is all the evidence we have, and I, I truly hope you take this seriously. Yes, very much so. From everything I've heard, I understand you guys are the best at these types of investigations. Hello, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to leave you a quick note here and show you how you can get all of the evidence that's been provided by the LVMPD for yourself. Um, I am using archive.org to upload everything that I get um, for your own enjoyment. Uh, this includes the last, re the latest release uh, from May 30th um, of the uh, Air, airplane flyover um, surveillance video, as well as two different camera angles from the corner of Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, so what you need to do to get that for yourself is to head over to archive.org forward slash details forward slash at Nostradamus. Um, I will leave a link in the description of this for this video. So you can just click on that as well. Um, and then bookmark it. But this is where you're going to find all future evidence releases that I upload. I'm just going to upload them all here. Um, so if you would like to get the latest one, it is a rather large download. You would just go to this website. You would click here, Vegas Shooting Evidence 2018-0530. That'll bring you to this page. And then you'll just click show all files. There's no preview for this um, download. And that will take you to this page. And then all you need to download here is this video.zip. This file is 65.5 gigabytes. So make sure you have enough space. And it's going to take a while. Archive.org is really good at archiving, but speed-wise is a little bit slow, can be a little bit slow. So just prepare yourself for a long download and then for plenty of drive space. You're gonna need probably about twice this amount of drive space because you're gonna to have to unzip it once you download it. So once you download it and unzip it, it will need to be downloaded to a Windows PC. Um, I'm running a virtual machine here on my Mac. This is a, a, a Windows virtual machine. Um, it won't run on Mac. Uh, the file includes an executable. So once you download it and unzip it, what you'll get here is two folders. One of these is for the airplane footage, which is a single cam single camera angle. The other is for the Tropicana um, uh, street cams. That's two camera angles. So um, each one of these includes, like if you open it up, you're gonna see a, a client player. You'll open that up and that will open up this software. I'm doing an export right now. So I'm just gonna click what I have open. This, for example, is the, uh, the street cam videos. And then once you have it open, you can, um, there's a lot of different functionality you can do, you can mess around with here, but I'll just show you the basics. Um, so down here, you can just click play and it will start to play the video. Okay, so uh, opening or trying to play that video uh, seems to have crashed my um, player. So I'm going to reopen it here. One thing of note here is that you will get an error when you try to open this. It will say that this Russell C database cannot be found. That wasn't included, so this is fine. If you get this error, you just click through it. And then once you're in the player, you can begin to, you can drag the player here for a different time windows. And then you can just hit play right here and it will start to play through the footage. This is actually the best way to view this footage in my opinion, because the quality won't be degraded whatsoever and you have timestamps. If you wanna see just one camera angle up close, you can just double click it. And that'll take you to an up close angle. Here we're at uh, October 1st at 1135 AM. If we fast forward here, now we're at 11 PM. So you can, you can start to check around uh, when the time of the concert was happening uh, or the time of the shooting. Um, here's 10.01 PM. Okay. Uh, and then you can just uh, double click it to get back to this and choose the other camera if you want. 
Uh, if you'd like to export these to, for example, to upload to YouTube or to send to somebody or to pull out a clip um, to show somebody, you can just go down to the export option here and choose export. And this will pull up an export window here. I'm actually going to go back here if it will let me and pause this because it's making my virtual machine run extremely slow. Okay. Actually going to go back here and do the export option again. So it's not playing in the background. Once you're in the export screen, you can, uh, this window is where you're going to be exporting from. So you'll need to choose the clip first. So there's the two different clips, Tropicana Northwest and Tropicana Southeast. Um, so you'll just want to choose whichever clip you want to export from, or you can choose both clips and we'll add them both. And then you'll need to choose the time window over here. Um, you can zoom by right clicking and then zooming out. Since these are like three days clips, if you want to grab the whole time window, you want to grab, uh, back out or zoom out to about four days. And then you can just grab the whole clip and then I'll click on the other one and do the same thing. That'll export all three days. If you want to uh, you know, choose a, time, a smaller time window, you can get more granular here just by um, right clicking and doing go to time. And then you'll want to choose your export destination. This is be where it saves the file to. And then down here under choose the export format, you'll want to uncheck XProtect format. This is with the format that it's currently exported in. Uh, you don't want to cost somebody else this trouble, I don't think. Maybe you do. Um, but then you'll want to check media player format down here. The best and highest quality video you can export here is the MKV format. However, it is not the most compatible format. And I've noticed when you upload to YouTube, sometimes it can corrupt and it will cut out. So, um, you know, kind of do that with your own risk. The other note about the MKV format is that you won't have the option to ex export it with timestamps. If timestamps is important to you, you'll need to choose AVI format or AVI. And then of the AVI format, there are three different codecs. The one that I've most recently used is the Microsoft Video Codec. So I'm just going to choose that. Codec configuration, if you click that, you'll be able to up the quality up to one. This is going to take more space, um, but it's going to be a higher quality video. And then you're going to include the timestamps. This export will take a long time. Um, and uh, it's important to note that it will, with the Microsoft video option, it will um, split the clip up into two gigabytes or the clips in this case up to two gigab into two gigabyte chunks. So if the clip is long enough to be to run across multiple chunks, then you'll have to either send or post multiple files or you can um, join the files together in some kind of video editor. And that's really it. Um, once you've got your export set, then you can hit start export. And I've got, I just want to check one thing here because my time windows. Yeah, it's just a little too big. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, because it's not going to export that as blank space, I don't think. But I'm going to back these down a little bit. And then I'm going to start the export. And that's it. So uh, hopefully that gives you guys enough information to get the files yourself, to know where to get evidence when it's released in the future, where to download that. I'll be posting that up on archive.org. Um, and then, you know, if you run into any issues with this, I've been struggling with the software now since uh, the evidence came out on the 30th, May 30th. Um, so I'm a little bit more familiar with it now. Um, but if you run into any problems with it, uh, let me know. And uh, I wish you well in your research. Thank you.